there is not a lot more just hardcore biographical information. Um, not much more than we had before, though again, we don't know who's researching what. The estate, the family, has a lot of control <laughs> over a lot of information. Um, once again, um, I don't know how much more will come out in terms of the specifics of the sexual mm. charges. Um, there is one young man, um, you know, I, who has said, you know, yeah, yeah, I, my family and I, we took the settlement, but I really was abused. Um, we have to pay as much attention to that as we, you know, as something we have to think hard about. Um, mm and not just dismiss. Um, and this, we have to pay as much attention to that as we are paying attention to these accounts, you know, about Kevin Spacey, Harvey Weinstein, you know, well, name the names, um, Charlie Rose, etc. You know, they have to be taken seriously, however much we love the artist. And that does not mean you have to censor the artist's work. You know, it doesn't. And I think um, some of it has a lot to do with how I, you know, we're not fully fair or rational creatures. Some of it has a lot to do with how much the artist means to us. It's easier to write off, you know, to say, I no, um, you know, Wagner was a Nazi, which he was, and a low, or a precursor of the Nazis, um, which he was. Um, he was a vicious anti-Semite. Um, it's much easier to write that off if one doesn't give a damn about Wagner's music. If you love Wagner, then you have to consider each time, you know, do I not play the record? Do I not, if I'm a conductor, conduct it? And that is your decision to make. What's not your right is to pretend that those, that both realities don't mm. exist. So, you know, there's not going to be any one standard because we're always going to bend 